Not too long ago, Zumbinis enjoyed the good life. Though they all looked slightly different, different eyes, noses, hair, feet, such differences meant nothing to the Zumbinis. And, and so they lived happily on Zumbini Isle, making small, useful products which were prized the world over. The Zumbinis had a sense of fulfillment and inner peace, not to mention healthy bank accounts. Then one day, who should show up but the bloke? The bloats offered to help the Zumbinis grow their businesses, expand their trade routes, and improve their quality of life. Being trusting sorts, the Zumbinis agreed. But before long, the bloats had taken over everything. Stealing profits, canceling holidays, piling on work. The Zumbinis were getting pretty stressed out. Well, you can push them only so far before they take matters into their own hands. Uh, so to speak. So they decided to escape and build a new home in a distant land. Now perhaps you're wondering what all this has to do with you. Oh, don't you see? You are the only one who can help them escape. Quickly! Help them begin their journey. Only 16 at a time will fit in the boat. Hello everybody, May here and welcome to this gameplay of Zumbinis. And boy, did everything go south real fast, real quick. So, Zumbinis or the legend, not legend, not legend, um, the logical journey of the Zumbinis uh, is an educational puzzle video game that was created by Broderbund, or known as, um, which was the original maker, and was remade by the learning company. Uh, Brunder Broderbund is known for doing the Carmen San Diego series, and Learning Company is known for doing Oregon Trail. And as you heard the narrator say, that the Zumbinis are a race of small blue creatures that are trying to escape for better conditions and just to escape the the bloats. So we're gonna see how this goes because this is actually the first time I'm actually playing this. The only reason why I got interested is because of the company that had developed the Carmen San Diego game. And from what I'm reading, and this was also made in 19 released in 1996, uh, you are to transfer or move 16 of the Zumbinis across a series of puzzles and of course the more successful you are in keeping you know your Z zumbinis the more difficult the puzzles will be so this is basically like you know making sure either you know you keep all your zumbinis or you're likely gonna lose them along the way so we're going to see how this works right now all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first click on the question mark because it's likely the instructions um the music's pretty whimsical. Okay, so Zumbini Isle is a place where you recruit each band of escaping Zumbinis. A total of 16 Zumbinis are needed to start each trip. Only two Zumbinis with the same exact features can be recruited through an entire game. Select a Zumbini by selecting on a different feature in the lower left box until it has the features you want. To choose a random recruit, click on the dice icon underneath the Zumbini to quickly and automatically recruit 16 Zumbinis. Hold down the shift key and click on the dice icon. A full band of Zumbinis will automatically appear from the cave ready for their first adventure. A Zumbini can also be placed back in the cave if you decide to choose a Zumbini with different features. To continue the game, click on the go 
arrow button in the bottom right of the screen. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother random like taking time to pick that so I'll just push shift and then we'll push the 16 of them here. So we have a map here and you know this is untitled Zom Zombini Isle 625 people so I guess this is the main one where we have to save all those and then we have to take them to the different uh, different parts of the island Shelter Rock, Shade Tree, and Zombiniville and we can do a practice mode or we can do a practice journey and then they have a terrain key here which is a blue green path I'm sorry not so easy oh so very hard which is yellow orange is very hard and red is very very hard I'm not looking forward to this so options new game save game so save it as may save and dialogue is on transition is on okay all right so, continued journey. And then I guess we'll start. Oh, this is pretty cool. After days tossed about by a stormy sea, the Zumbinis reach the shore of a peculiar land. That's actually really cool. All right, so this kind of reminds me of Legends of the Hidden Temple. Now, I'm kind of afraid of what happens when I move them, so I'm going to click on this. So, the allergic cliffs. The allergic cliffs play by certain rules. What one cliff accepts, the other is allergic. Look for one feature such as a red nose that does not cause an allergic reaction. Really? <laughs> so they said red noses that does not cause an allergic reaction. Oh, so, oh, I see here. So I have like five chances. That sucks. Okay, so blue noses don't work. How about orange noses? Orange noses too! The hell? So this one's allergic too? What the hell? Oh, I only have one more chance! Really? This is a red nose. Oh, I've lost three. Damn it. Oh, this is hard. That sucks, man. These stone guards have their rules, so do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow. The other guard surely will. Hmm. All right. We'll just have to be careful. They're blue. All right. So the stone cold caves. The cave guardians have a reaction to certain zombies. Zumbini, sorry. Just like the allergic cliffs, what one guardian likes, the opposite, the guardian does not, for example. If the left guardian accepts spring feet, the right guardian will reject this feature. The same goes for the upper and lower guardians. Look for one feature such as a red nose um, that a cave guardian accepts or rejects. <coughs> okay. So one foot ones are not accepted. Well, you're okay. So that Many one try. won't take it. Phew. Proceed. Okay, so this one is okay. So this one doesn't take it. Okay, so this one takes the wheels. Okay, so this... So the springs will go here. All right. All right, so everybody else was let in here. That's good. You did it! Good, good. You saved them all! All 13. 
You've done quite well. How delightful. So this one was a little easier. So brave travelers continue on through this dusty wasteland until they meet Arno, the almost omnivorous, one very hungry pizza troll. Pizza troll? Okay. It's gonna be interesting. Fleens? You're not fleens! <laughs> he sounds like he's farting. Whatever you are. Make me a pizza! This is pretty cute, actually. Alright, let's see what this one has to say. Alright, pizza pass. Arno desperately needs a pizza. Make his favorite pizza and he'll let the Zumbinis pass. Build your pizza and be aware of what Arn Arno likes and dislikes. If a pizza has a topping that Arno hates, he'll throw it into the reject pit. If he throws pizzas missing one or more of his favorite toppings onto a rock. Okay. He's a finicky eater, and he won't necessarily like the same pizza the next time you see him. Okay. So basically, this is... Okay, so... So this goes in a pit. Let's try this. Okay, so he doesn't like that one. Okay, so he likes those two. Okay. That's cute. You did it! You saved them all! Oh, that's it? Okay, that wasn't so bad then. Okay. That was pretty cool. So I guess it was by the power of deduction of what he liked. I'm sure there was probably like a certain amount of tries you can do, but I'm glad I got it on the fourth try. Hold on. What's this? A campsite with hot soup all ready to eat? Looks like a fine place for Zumbinis to relax. But when they're ready to move on, they'll need a group of 16 along the path. They need 16. So, does that mean I have to go back and grab three more? Okay, so... Missing three. Hold on. And we're gonna go up. So we're going over a bridge. Zubinis Who's bio? Must have something in common with their neighbor to sit on Captain Cajun's ferry. Hmm. Welcome to the boat. Now hurry yourselves up and find your seat. It's not going to be that easy. I'm sure there's a specific way of having these guys on here. Uh, seating on the Captain Cajun's ferry boat is very important. Each Zubini can only sit next to each other if they have at least one matching feature. Same hair, same eyes, same nose, or feet. Okay. Fine, sit wherever you want to. I don't... There you go, you got it. I'm probably going to have to adjust this at some point. Mm. Oh. Okay, so this is not too bad then. No. Okay, good. Ooh, that was a little scary. Ah, sure. There you go, you got it. Yay. Ah. Sure. <coughs> They're all here. Nice. 
color, flower, and lily pad shape too may be the keys that get them through. Oh, okay. So each Zumbini needs a titanic tattooed toad to carry it across the field of lily pads to the other side. Most of the toads will follow a special path that matches the shape of the flower, the shape of the lily pad, or the shape of the stripe on its back. For example, a toad with a red stripe will follow the path of lily pads with red flowers on the other side. Some toads cannot cross the river at all, Some, and none will hop diagonally. Try tracing a complete path the other side before sending a Zumbini across. Okay. Okay. Okay, so most of these are okay paths. Well, that was a little scary. I thought it jumped off. All right, so this one's not going. Hello? Really? That sucks. Oh, it has to do with the type of frog. Oh, damn it. How do I recall a frog? Oh no! Crap. Oh, I lost a whole bunch of them. Damn it. Okay, so I had to do it like three more times, so I managed to get all of them here. Wow, it was insane. So, stone rise. Zumbinis must link together to turn the stone elevators on and continue their journey. Link pairs of Zumbinis together according to one common feature such as red noses. The symbol on the stone pads show what attribute the Zumbinis must share. Okay. So, we see we have hair, nose. Hair. Oh. 
There we go. So they had matched these guys with their hair, nose, and feet. Nice. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Oh, good. So we're on to another fire. Amazing indeed! Another relaxing campsite ready and waiting for Zumbinis! And they'll need their rest. The darkest, most dangerous part of the journey is yet to come! <laughs> That's not reassuring. At all. So I'm going to save and replace. So I need to get like all 600 something Zumbinis there. I'm only going to be playing until the 16 of them will go there. And then I'll probably play more of this offline if anything. But I mean, other than that, I'm probably only going to do up to 16. Wow, that's insane. But I mean... If that was the only thing that, you know, most people were able to play then, then I guess they had no choice. Throughout these gloomy mountains, strange carvings left by ancient peoples are everywhere. Ooh. So what is this? The Lion's Lair. The stone lion requires a certain order from the Zumbinis before they can pass to move the lion's paw. The Zumbinis must be grouped together and sorted by one attribute such as nose color. Okay. So green goes first. I have no blue, which sucks. Then it's gonna be purple. If I have to get purple, that would suck. I mean blue. You got them all okay. through. Oh, good. good for you. Oh, look how cute the lion is. Use the crystal filters to change the Zumbini's reflection. It will give them crystal slamming protection. So, what do I do? Uh, the mirror the oh the reflections. The mirror machine requires matching reflections before allowing Zumbinis to pass. Before I mean, pass, finding matches between Zumbinis and your group and their reflections on the wall. Oh, I don't have those. Uh, when you're ready, place a Zumbini on the card matching the image in the mirror on the opposite end, and then click the lever. If they're identical, the Zumbini will pass. Okay, so this one tells you what is needed, and I definitely do not have that. I definitely do not have a lot of these at all damn that sucks I guess I have to do it for each one
I guess I have to see how my power of deduction is. Alright, I know this is gonna definitely take a while, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these and then um, I'm gonna use the power of film editing to fast forward. You got them all through! Good for you! <laughs> Yay, I got them all. So I guess if, let's say, you were frustrated and you just wanted to continue the game, you could just press the green arrow and then you'll lose whatever green beanies you have. First for traps. So easy to miss. To get zoom beanies across, bubble wonder abyss. Alright, uh, Bumble, Bubble Wonder Abyss. The Zumbinis are seeking way across Bubble Wonder want, Wonder Abyss. Directional arrows and Zumbini features will tell you the direction a Zumbini will move. For example, Zumbini will move in the direction of the white arrow, direct the white arrow's pointing. If a square displays an arrow with a symbol of Zumbini features, such as a red nose, any Zumbini matching that feature will travel in the direction of the arrow. Those that do not will continue in their original direction. Beware of some arrows change direction once a Zumbini has passed over it. Plan ahead before sending Zumbinis on their way. The order is important. Okay, so this is gonna suck. This is by I, okay. So now we're gonna go by glasses. Oh crap, what the hell? Wait, but I thought it was by eye, why are they- Wait, what happened? Ugh. Really? Oh, that sucks. No, they're going here too. Why? Oh, you're kidding me, right? Ugh. Oh, damn. Damn it. Alright. So, it's very finicky as to which ones you get. So, I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go over and I'm going to try to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more zombies in. Oh, okay. Is this it? Could this be the place they've been seeking? A Let's place see. Of hope and prosperity? Okay. So yes, thank thanks to you, the Zumbinis have found the perfect spot to build a new community. Uh, click the left and the right screen to see more of the beautiful region. If you succeed in bringing a full band of 16 Zumbinis, a special building for the community will be constructed to commemorate the preser pres preser preservance and fortitude of the Zumbini group during the journey. Click on the small plaque located in each community to read about the brave Zumbinis. Uh, bravery, brave adventures. Now that you've made hundreds of more weight Zumbini Isle, you can't let them down. Click on the map icon to get back to the Zumbini Isle, Shelter Rock, or Shade Tree to bring more Zumbinis along the journey. Can you free all of them? Can you win all 16 award build, uh, reward buildings? The Zumbinis are counting on you. What? Sleeping on the job? While Zumbini lives hang in the balance? Hurry back and get the others! Alright. Well, I am actually not going to continue right now. Um, but this game actually is pretty fun um, for the challenge in making you think. Because there are certain things that have patterns. And some of the things I didn't think about, like the pizza one, no, it's easy to deduce from. 
and then the pattern for the lion and the other puzzles were pretty good. The one harder one was definitely the lily pad in the beginning. Also the sneezing one and also just this past one is a little bit harder. So it's definitely something I would re keep retrying to play if I wanted to get all 16 of those uh, plaques and stuff like that. Um, so you can see here they have like a theater, a windmill, more lands to look through. So, but it, this is a pretty good game, but other than that, this just deduces logic, you know, in terms of, you know, what you should pick or, you know, matching games and that type of thing. So I do kind of like more of the in-depth in uh, educational ones where they give you a variety more of things to make you think more like, you know, with grammar games. <coughs> they made you think more for the English portion of, you know, plural, possessive, singular, and all that other stuff. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Uh, check out all my other social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. If you have any suggestions or comments, put them down below. If you have any games that you want me to play, not just retro games, but any new and current games, let me know. And I shall see you in the next video.